Welcome to a first look at the Raspberry Pi Pico. The Pico is the Pi Foundation's first entry into the crowded microcontroller space. The Pico is very attractively priced at only $4, which is about £3 for us Brits. It has been designed to take on competitors like the various Arduino boards, which have been proven immensely popular with electronics hobbyists. The Pico is being marketed as a flexible and versatile microcontroller and can be programmed by using C or MicroPython. It has extensive documentation behind it, hopefully making it a great educational tool like the Pies that came before it. At the heart of the Pico is the RP2040. This chip is designed by the Raspberry Pi Foundation and is manufactured by TSMC on their 40 nanometer process. The chip itself is a dual-core ARM Cortex-M0+, Plus, which can be operated at up to 133 MHz. It has 264 kilobytes of onboard RAM and 2 MB of flash storage. The board, which houses the RP2040, measures in at 51 by 21 mm. It has a micro USB connector for power, programming and a serial port, much like an Arduino. The Pico can support input voltages between 1.8 and 5.5 volts. It has a user programmable LED, onboard temperature sensor, and a boot select push button. Out of the 40 pins, 26 are for GPIO, with three of them being capable of analog input. Perhaps the most interesting part of this chip is actually the eight available programmable input output state machines. A later video will cover how these function and why they are so interesting. In terms of communication protocols, the RP2040 has two UART, two SPI and two I2C controllers. There are also 16 PWM channels available on the Pico alongside an accurate onboard clock. On paper, this board is shaping up to be a great package, but in terms of the physical overview, my only gripe would be the lack of pin labels on the top side of the board. I know some other reviewers have talked about this, but it really is uh, quite frustrating. It will be particularly annoying to remove the Pico to check the pin numbers on the underside. So that was a super fast physical overview of the board. If you're interested in seeing the Pico in operation, do check out my follow up videos, which will cover how to program the Pico. Thank you for watching. And if this video has been helpful, then please consider liking and subscribing.